Hey guys, Ace from Gia. So I know some of you guys hate doing the inheritance zone as it's really grindy and you have to actually sit there and play. But I found a two-man team that can actually auto the inheritance zone on the extreme difficulty as well. And that is Christmas Uru and TT Koga. And it's really important that you have Christmas Uru first and not TT Koga. And the reason being is that Christmas Uru can auto basically all the way up to the very last room before the boss. And she usually dies around the very last group of mobs. So when she dies, TT Koga basically takes over, destroys that group of mob, and then destroys the boss room. Very rarely does she actually do it by herself, so I put TT Koga there in just for a 100% guaranteed run. So I'll show them off quickly. And don't worry, there's no gold chapters in this run. So we got the Ishin Charm with 30% attack, Chap Expense with 20% attack. We have a Hujikizai with 30% SP. The Hujikizai is really, really important. It's a must for this run. So that's why it's there. I don't actually have a second Hajikizai and hopefully I can get one soon with attack or stam. So we got 20 DR, we got Frenzy Renji and 16 DR. Next up we got TT Koga. So we got a Yuki Dispenser 20 SP, Purple Dispenser 20 attack and Captain Zero with 20 attack. If you wanted and you have multiple Chappies as in the normal Chappie Dispenser, you can actually make this guy a Chappie character, it doesn't really matter. But I only got one 5 star green Chappie. Then we got 16 DR, 20 and 20. And then we got Moe here. And the reason why we have him is for the Crystal Links. He's also 17 himself, so we get more large XP Crystals, which makes leveling characters much easier. So we're gonna put on all our boosters, as well as a friend, and you can see this run. I also want to mention that there'll be no commentary during the actual gameplay, and I'll give a little speech towards the end.
的はこのソウルソサイティの影響力。And there you have it, guys. These two characters can order the inheritance zone on extreme difficulty. One thing I do recommend is that you put a spirit call on Christmas Uru. I do have a spirit call, but it's 30% SP, not attack or stam. And the reason being is those enemies that cause weakening are a, a major factor in why she dies towards the end. So if you have a spirit call, it lowers that duration of the weakening because weakening reduces your attack to one and also lowers your defense so you get hit for much more. So what you can do for her build is you can have a five star chappy, you can have a spirit call with attack or stam. And your Hajikazai with attack or stam. In my case, it was SP, it would be much better if it had attack or stam. And she probably could have survived the end if she had stam as well. Also, I recommend that you have a second character, preferably TT Koga, because the inheritance zone times your kill damage by three. So he's got Soul Reaper and Captain. So on the boss, he's gonna do about 180% damage because 60, 20 from the Soul Reaper, 40 for the Captain, times three, that's 180%. And he's an absolute monster. Put a full damage reduction, and it's gonna be really, really tanky. However, guys, enjoy this video. Learn to s c a t for more Bleach Brand Sales content, and enjoy the rest of your day.